Aloha everyone, welcome to Mo'olelo Mondays, where we talk about Polynesian legends. The native Hawaiian word for story is Mo'olelo, but it can also mean history, legend, or tradition. In the United States, May is Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and every Monday this month, we'll be covering legends from Polynesian mythology. During ancient times, the Polynesian peoples fanned out to the east, to the Cook Islands, and from there to other groups such as Tahiti and the Marquesas. Their descendants later discovered the islands from Tahiti to Rapa Nui, and later Hawaii and New Zealand. Let the story begin. Long ago in the land of Hawaii, there was a chief named Wahanui, and Kilohi was his prophet, Kaula. Wahanui sailed in a canoe from Hawaii to Kaunolu on the southern tip of Lanai. He went because he had sworn, I will trample on the chest of the gods Kane and Kanaloa, then return to Hawaii. Kane and Kanaloa once lived together with their younger brother Kane Apua, a trickster god at Kaunolu Lanai. There were three gods who sometimes changed into other forms, Kane and Kanaloa having the bodies of birds and Kane Apua having a human body. One day, Kane and Kanaloa became very thirsty, so they sent Kane Apua to the uplands of Lanai to get water at a spring called Nanai Hale. When he arrived home and met Kane and Kanaloa, they took the water gourd and drank to satisfy their thirst. Once they discovered that the water was unclean, they flew off, leaving Kane Apua on Lanai. One day, he saw Wahanui's canoe and asked if they could give him a ride. Kilohi stated, the main hull of the canoe is already full. This conversation went on until Kane Apua had mentioned every part of the canoe trying to get a seat. After being denied a seat anywhere, Kane Apua called out, return, a storm is coming. Kilohi didn't believe the stranger. The canoe continued on from Kaunolu to Kaena Point, where it encountered a heavy wind. Soon after this, a storm arose and the canoe was overturned. Wahanui got a cramp in the cold water and the supplies were soaked. The travelers returned to land at Lele in Lahaina. After sleeping there, they set out again the next day. As the canoe sailed past Kaunolu, Kane Apua again asked for a seat, and again the prophet Kilohi told him there wasn't any room. The canoe left for Kahiki and was swamped in another storm and forced to return to shore. On this return, Wahanui realized that the stranger, Kane Apua, knew more than his prophet, Kilohi. So when they departed again, Kane Apua was given a seat and the canoe sailed on. They then sailed to what appeared to be a giant dog. Kilohi was very afraid and demanded they turn back. Kaneapua said, You are mistaken, Kilohi. That is the island of Kanehunamoku. It recognizes you as a newcomer, Malahini. When its dark shadow moves away, the sky will brighten and the island will be revealed. After they had sailed for some time, they looked up and saw two hills, Paliuli, dark cliff, and Palikea, light cliff, towering above and ahead of them. These two hills were two demigods, Kupua, loyal to Kane and Kanaloa, who wanted to kill the travelers. Kaneapua warned them of the danger, and Wahanui ordered his crew listen to the stranger. The travelers were once again saved from death. They then went ashore on the sandy beach. Kaneapua said to Wahanui, Go until you find three men lying face up. They are Kane, Kanaloa, and Mauli. Trample on the chest of the three of them and return, but don't look back. Wahanui did as he was told and returned. Kaneapua said, wrap me up in a kapa cloth streaked with colors, oni oni o, and say that I'm your god, Kaneapua. When Wahanui heard this, he kneeled down before Kaneapua and made an offering, mohai, of all of the valuables he had bought with him. For the first time, the travelers realized that their guide was the god Kaneapua. A crowd gathered and asked, You must have a big god. Kaneapua responded, Yes, he could devour all of you without satisfying his hunger. <laughs>